I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is called Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just these categories. One of the reasons that this is a good exercise is because it builds confidence in the skill of making anything work. So if your hand goes dead, you may need to force another hand. Another reason it's a great exercise is to prepare for playing in a tournament because a lot of times they pre-select hands or they identify a category and the first hand in that category will win a prize. Either way, it's a great skill to build. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories that we're going to work with. We're going to force hands in only these categories. Let's roll the dice to determine which player we are. If I roll an odd number, will be player one and we'll get 28 tiles. If I roll an even number, we'll be player two and we'll get 27 tiles. Here I rolled a 10, so we're going to be player two since that was an even number. Player two, 27 tiles. A quick way to count is if you have four tiles on each side, you should have six in the middle. So that would be 28 tiles. So just take one away and there's your 27. All right, for these tiles, we have three flowers, single dragon, east, one, two, three, four, pairs, one, two, four pairs, one, two, five, pair sevens, pair ones, pair three, six, eight, nine. Anytime I have flowers like this, three or more, I think about addition. Let's see if we can make an addition work, and we can. Seven, five, 12. I would force addition here. Here's our 12 five, seven. So there's our addition hand. Eight tiles towards addition. We're halfway there. So if we have addition there, we need to use the rest of these tiles and force a category. Since we have one, two, three, four, I think we should use consecutive tiles. So we're going to keep one, two, three, four. Usually when I work with consecutive I gather tiles, four numbers, and arrange around the multiples. One, two, three, four. So we're going to keep one through four no matter what the suit is. We're going to gather till we run out of discards. So this choice, addition and consecutive run, leaves seven discards. To me, that is an indicator of a strong position because we have used our multiples and have eight, seven discards, less than eight discards. So as far as triage, I would discard probably these first. The reason I like to do that is because winds and dragons are kind of a hot commodity. There are fewer of them than numbered tiles. So I want to discard those and give myself the opportunity to use the number tiles in exchange for jokers. Also, I want to get rid of year tiles because if a player is going for the big hand on the card, I can s try to sabotage that potential. So I want to hold number tiles, not winds and dragons. Of course, if I'm using winds and dragons, I'll keep them. But if I'm not, like in this case, I'm going to get rid of them first. So these will go first, then those. We're going to gather 
addition tiles, the five, seven, we're good here. We need a flower. We can use this in here maybe. Then down here, one, two, three, four. If I had to pick a hand, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, four. I mean, we could play a couple of different hands, so I really wouldn't pick a hand. But if I had to pick a hand, I might play the concealed hand, two, three, four, three, three, because you can use jokers for the threes. Two, three, four, three, three, we need three dots, and we could use this as joker bait. So I think I might play that, or we could do one, two, three, four, four, but we would have two pair of joker bait. So probably if I had to pick a hand, I'd play the concealed hand under consecutive run. So I think we can call this force. Force one, addition and consecutive run. If you would have done something differently using these tiles with these categories, let me know in the comment section below. There is a potential for two, four, six, eight, second hand down, two, four, six, eight, or two, four, six, eight, but these are singles. Here we're using all the multiples, maybe. If we can get the five crack, I'd play the first hand and use this as joker bait. So there's flexibility with this consecutive run hand. Whereas with the two, four, six, eight hand, we would pick one hand. Here we could play one of three hands. Okay, we're going to the next force. I rolled a 10, so we're gonna be player two again. Okay, for this one, we have jokers, flowers, almost news, red, white, singles, one through five, seven, we have a pair of threes. We don't have a four or six, so there's not really a consecutive run there. There's a little one, one, two, three. Here we have two, four, five, six, seven, multiples, two, six, seven. So. We need to force three, six, nine. We do have six, nine, three, six, nine in mixed suits. We could make that work. Let's see what else we could do though. We do have a year category up here and we have a white dragon. Let's see, we don't have ones or nines in this suit. If we do three, six, nine, we're gonna use that nine. Um, let's see, so then we have two, four, six, eight. We have no eights, so I wouldn't do two, four, six, eight. We've got jokers here, so I don't know if I would do a pair hand. Two, four. I think what I would do here is a year hand and three, six, nine. Okay. I think this is how I would play it. Three, six, nine, mix suit Kongs, third hand down, pair of flowers, Kong, Kong, Kong. Then down here, news with 2019 in dots. We've got gaps. We're probably gonna need help. 
So we need a nine dot and then maybe we can use the dragons here with the jokers. I would hold the one and the two for options. Even though we're using the nine up here, we could maybe use jokers to help with the nine and use a nine here in case we get the one bam. I would just hold them all, but more likely than not, this will go away because we're using the nine bam here. The one crack and two dot, that would be better suits and pr preferably the dots would come in. So news with the year. Another thing we might be able to do is the first hand, in which case I would hold the flower. The first hand under the year uses flowers. 2019 in one suit with a one and a nine in opposite suits. So there is a slight chance for that. So I think I would hold that. And then we could use this as joker bait. These would be discards. So we have six discards with joker bait and options. We really probably have more like 10 discards right now. Sometimes you're going to have more discard count when you're forcing hands. Give yourself options when, when you have that situation. If joker bait is part of your discard count, that's a bonus. Hold on to the joker bait till the third wall, maybe the middle of the third wall. Discard one, your opponent may make an exposure with a joker and you can use the second one to make an exchange. That's how joker bait works. And to see demonstrations, look for links in the video description below. Uh, joker bait is a term coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama, and it's a great strategy, but timing is critical. And it's hit or miss. So, three, six, nine, end the year. That's, I think, how I would do it. If you would do something differently, write in the comment section below. These would be the categories we could use. Let's go on to force three. We need to do two, four, six, eight, and singles and pairs. For this one, I rolled a 10. So we're gonna be non-dealer. All right, let's see if we can force two, four, six, eight in singles and pairs. Since there are a lot of options for singles and pairs, let's pull all our evens together. So we're going to move these out of the way and keep all evens. Not a whole lot, but there is a hand here. Two, four, six, eight. Pull all your evens together. All evens. The fourth hand down, pair of flowers, two, eight, with four, six in the middle. W either one of these can work, and that's probably what I would do here. Since we have the cracks in twos and eights, and we do have bands, I would hold the dragons, because we maybe could play the dragon hand, but that would be, I think, a long shot, because we have no multiples at all. That would be the second from the bottom under two, four, six, eight. I would hold them just as a long shot. So here we now have the rest of our tiles. We need to make a pair hand out of here. And I see all odds. Let's look at the odd pair hand. Third one down, 
little odds or big odds. Those are the choices. So it's a matter of what we have the most of, and I see ones in every suit. So I would play the little odd pair hand. I would hold that for joker bait. This would be joker bait, and this would be joker bait. This would have to go because we only need pairs. So here we have one, three, five in three suits, pair, single, pairs with one and three, single, all pairs. I would gather little odds. And primarily because we have no nine bams. Here we have five, seven, five, seven, not five, nine, five, seven, nine. But we would, we, we have no cracks actually with fives and sevens. That's why I wouldn't do the big odd hand. I would do little odds and two, four, six, eight. That's how I would play this. This would all be joker bait for this hand. So really, there. This applies to this hand, because you can't use jokers here. So we would have four discards before we get to joker bait. And I would probably discard those depending on what's being thrown. If wins are not being discarded by the opponent, I would hold this and discard the numbers. If the opponent discards wins, I would get rid of that first. Probably that would go next. This might help later. Maybe even hold it, because there is a two, four, six, eight, one suit hand. So maybe hold the flowers, discard these first. So we have two, four, six, eight, and singles and pairs. Both of these are gonna take some work, but there are options here. And we have every block represented, we just need to fill it in. Forcing a hand is a skill that can be useful not only in a tournament, but in a regular game. Many times the hand that you're playing can go dead and you need to switch to either another category or another hand. This is when this particular skill comes in very handy. So if you have a set of tiles at home, I challenge you to give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next force for Siamese Mahjong, using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.